Hey, so this is day five of my 30 days of React challenge and the app I've built today was by a special request of my friend Ollie, who is a New Zealander living in London who keeps forgetting about Relish because it's popular in New Zealand but not here and I was talking about it the other day and he said, hmm, I forgot about Relish and I thought that was a shame. So I've made an app that will remind him to think about Relish. Uh, and he put those relishes there. Thanks, Ollie. Okay, let's have a look at the code. Okay, so first I'll do a little demo. So here we have um, the app, which has cards that display different styles of chutney um, or relish, and then have a button so you can kind of pause them or say, not right now. Kind of like when you get a bunch of pop-ups on your screen or updates and you're like, no, not right now. I don't want to think about Branston Pickle right now, and you just say no. So what you keep doing is just clicking, nope, don't want to think about mango chutney right now, and you keep going until you say not right now to the last relish, and then it comes up with a message that says don't forget about relish, and then of course you don't want to forget about relish, so you click OK. And it just resets the app, so it's like an endless loop of relish reminders that you can't escape. Okay, so let's have a look at the code. Um, first of all, we have um, our state up here, which is a array of relish styles, each of which has just a name and a description, um, as displayed here, and our return block, which is super stripped down. We just have a header, um, a header as per usual, and then um, a call to relishes which I will come back to in a moment. So let's have a look at our Relish component over here. Also super simple, simple styling. And then we have, um, it just displays name, Relish description, and then it also um, displays a button here, which is our not right now button. Okay, so with this app, there are a few um, more React features that I've explored. Uh, so the first is displaying list data. So in my previous app, um, in my previous apps, I've displayed multiple components by actually re rendering the component call multiple times, um, which of course, as your app grows and you have more relishes, maybe I have 50 relishes, um, is not ideal because you have to keep kind of adding more components. Um, so this time around, I've used dot map here. Um, and what this does is iterates through the state array of relishes instead of rendering each into a relish component. So no matter whether I have five or 50 relishes, um, we're going to get the same result and they'll all be rendered. Yeah, so that's how that works. Okay, so along with name and description, I'm also passing a reference to an event handler, which I've called delete relish handler. Um, this accepts relish index as an argument, which is the position within the object array. So like whether it's zero, one, two, or three up here in our array. Um, so let's have a look at this, uh, at this um, delete relish handler, handler and what that does. Basically what it does is copies the current state relish styles array of objects here. It then splices it, removing the item as defined by index. And it then sets the updated version of our array as state, effectively removing the chosen item as per. Cool. So the last thing I want to talk about in this app is the conditional rendering. Um, so I've set this up. Let's, have, let's go down and find it. Here we go. Here we go. Here's relishes. So um, I've set this up so that if the length of relish style state array has a length greater than zero, then it renders the relish blocks, as we've just talked about. Otherwise, once the state array reaches a length of zero, then it renders this block instead, which is our message. So, so at right now our state array length is one, but once we click this, it's going to be zero, and we get our message. Don't forget about relish, and a button, OK, which when clicked, reloads our window and effectively sets the app back to zero, back to square one with our state as defined here. Cool. So that's how that works. Hopefully my description was 
and explanation was okay. Thanks.